Hi there. Have you tried stuffed mild peppers with gravy? They are yum and go well with both bread and rice preparations. You will be able to surprise everyone with this dish. Really. Are you a new visitor? Then do subscribe and click the bell icon. Let's begin with the filling. Dry roast, some cumin and coriander seeds till they are fragrant. They look done. Once they have cooled down slightly, crush them coarsely. Heat a tiny bit of oil. Add in some finely chopped onions, really finely chopped. And fry them till they turn pink. Now add in boiled and crushed potatoes. Add in a tiny bit of ginger garlic paste. Chopped coriander leaves. Season with salt. Chaat masala. And add in the roasted cumin and coriander seeds. Just give it a mix. And that's it. Turn off the heat and let it cool down to room temperature. So while the filling cools down, let's prepare our peppers. These are mild peppers, not hot at all, but are quite flavorful. Make a slit down the middle and just scoop out the seeds, very few seeds actually. Also known as achari mitch, these peppers are used for making stuffed pickles or stuffed fritters. Once they are all done, it's time to fill them up. Now that the filling has cooled down, add in some grated cheese. You could use any cheese that you have at home. And just mix it with the potato while mashing it up slightly. That's done. Time to fill in our peppers. Be generous with the filling. Press with your fingers to fit it in. Similarly, stuff the rest of them. They are all done. Use the same pan in which you made the filling. Once that's hot enough, place the peppers. So we need to char these till they get blisters like this one. So just keep turning them from time to time to char them evenly. Cover it with a lid for a minute or two. Checking after a minute, drizzle some oil, they look done. Let's get these out. You could serve them as a side dish just as they are. Take a small bowl, add in a teaspoon of coriander powder, half a teaspoon of cumin powder, Half teaspoon of chaat masala, red chilli powder, garam masala powder, turmeric powder and a teaspoon of ginger garlic paste. Add in a bit of water. Mix to form a smooth paste. I am also using some dry roasted peanuts that I will grind finely. That's the peanut paste. It's the same pan that I'm using once again without washing. It's always good to conserve water. On that note, let's add in the onion. Finely chopped. And cook them till they are soft and have a light golden color. That's ready. Add in the spice mix. Cook till the oil starts separating. That hardly took any time. So now 
let's add in a grated tomato cook once again till the oil starts separating season with salt add in the peanut paste the color changes immediately the peanut adds a richness to the gravy and i got the idea from mirchi ka salan recipe do this is not quite like it add in some chopped coriander leaves mix it in add in a little water so i'm aiming for a thick gravy which will just about coat our peppers so let's wait for the gravy to come to a boil that's come to a boil so all we need to do is cook it on medium heat till the water evaporates slightly and the sauce thickens a bit the sauce has thickened slightly so just lower the heat i have some yogurt that i have beaten i'll just add it in if you like the recipe do share it with your friends and post your feedback in the comment section mix it in keep the heat on absolute low just let it cook for a bit once that starts simmering add in the peppers and let them cook for a minute the oil has started separating all over i'll just take out the peppers the gravy looks ready so i'll just turn off the heat to serve pour the gravy on the serving dish and place the stuffed peppers on it enjoy the dish with pulao or biryani puri or paratha